Hi there, Esco here in Gran Canaria. Our base camp is the village of Santa Lucia de Tirajana, so that's where we will start. I won't go into the beginning of the route on this video, you can check that out in the GC trailer video. Of all the routes leading to the island's highest peak, the one starting from Ingenio is the toughest. What makes it, makes it so uh, is about four kilometers of steep climbing right in the middle. Besides having a few tips in mind about this ascent, I've got some stories or rather some shaking tales to share about the road from the peak down to San Bartolomé and finally back to Santa Lucia. Well, let's start from Ingenio, from this intersection of the legendary Avenida de America. Now, if you are coming from Aguinas, there's no need to ride the whole avenue, but even then, from this intersection to the top roundabout, it's a tad over a kilometer with a hundred vertical meters. It's a clear message or sign of what lies ahead. Yeah, here we are at about 600 meters above sea level. If you're looking uh, for a break, stop to check out those caves on the right. Before the Spanish conquered the islands, the caves were the top choice for the indigenous people. Uh, after this, you will hit the toughest parts of this route. From this village of La Pasadilla, the road spikes to the to over 20% gradients. Several kilometers average out at more than 10%. So my standard cranks and a uh, 11 to 28 cassette just weren't enough. Like on this 3.5 kilometer stretch, my average cadence was 30, uh, 43. Like here, you might want to zigzag, uh, but that's only possible, possible in a few spots. You never know when someone might come speeding by and what kind of a vehicle. Yep, well now, this crossroads is a blessing, a sign that the worst is behind us. Here at Casadores, Another road joins in, which starts with a slightly gendered climb from the, to the top from the city of Telde. So that's a bit easier one. Well, still something like 600 meters to go upwards. Now here, um, Caldera dos Marteles, it's a small volcanic caldera that still has some heat coming from the ground. So as far as I understand, even up here there are fields and it's possible to cultivate. And now, past that caldera, a small descent and then a steep, steep climb into the pine forest area. So you get the feeling that, oh, I'm almost there. And then when you do the maths, there's still nearly 400 vertical meters of climbing and about 7k to go. Beautiful, but my legs are starting to feel empty. And finally, the peak is around 1950 meters high, about 2k. Counting from the center of Ingenio, it's a good uh, 1600 uh, meters of ascent upwards. It's always quite cold at the top, even though I was in a sleeveless shirt, I was smart enough to bring arm warmers. This descent starts with beautiful views and a well paved road, and now when we are turning towards GC600, heading to San Bartolome, as you see in the tarmac, oh, this is just Awful, especially going downwards. Going up, it's not 
that bad since uh, there isn't that much speed but going down uh, you just can't let it go not to break it all the time otherwise you lose lose for feet especially with uh, narrow tires like I have 25 millimeters yeah this doesn't shakes everything right down to your teeth it's quite beautiful actually still here around Ayakata and uh, I had an external power bank in the top to bag with a cable to the GoPro uh, so there was plenty of power up to the point when vibration knocked it out of the bag which was uh, slightly open and onto the road just above San Bartolome so that was the end of the power bank but after San Bartolome to Santa Lucia it was nice and uh, very good to be back home.